That's all I can tell you. I have always known I was adopted, uh, which I just consider such a gift. My parents did such a wonderful job of making it seem like a privilege and something that just made us really special. And I have two brothers as well that are adopted, so it was just very normative in our family to, um, to just talk about adoption and have that be something that was just normal and very special. Um, and, and I always remember, you know, in school and stuff, my friends actually felt more like they needed to tiptoe around the issue, like, oh, I'm sorry that you're adopted. And I, I loved talking about it. I loved having that piece of, of who I was. And I have two parents who just uh, love me so much, and I'm so thankful for the way that that was a part of my childhood. Um, it's something I feel like I always had a knowledge of, but then as we got older, the, the explanation was just that my birth mom wasn't ready to have a baby and wanted me to be in a family that could could have two loving parents and always explained just from a from a motive of love which was which was always um, something that I just I really embraced that even my birth mom it wasn't a sense of abandonment it was out of a motive of love that she would choose to place me in a home that I could be cared for well the moment we met was really I mean it's just one of those moments you can't ever forget the the impact of like your life is about to change for the rest you know something you've wondered about and this puzzle piece you've never really had is about to be put in to the puzzle of your life and uh, it was really incredible and I um, I remember when I met her she had she was so thankful because I actually was the one that had pursued the search process and she said I'm so thankful you did I always wanted to but I was afraid um, because um, the memories of any memory I have of you is a, is a bad one, and I was afraid for that, but she said, I'm ready to start making good memories. It wasn't instantly normal and easy, and there was moments of awkwardness and just learning what does it mean to define a relationship with someone who you are biologically and relationally intertwined with, but yet have no, uh, you know, she's not the mother that raised me, and so learning what that means, but it's been so special, and we have a really fantastic relationship and I'm so thankful for that. You know, those first few meetings were really about a lot of sharing stories. Um, one of the cool things that my, my mom had done is she had made an album of my life, like with photos and stuff, and that was a gift she wanted to give to my birth mom as a thank you for just, uh, just giving, her up, giving me up to, to them. And so that was a really cool starting point to kind of the first time we met to just even go through that and just talk a bit about the life that I was able to have. Uh, which was such a gift for her, you know, lots of tears, lots of really emotional moments. But over the 13 years, there's just been such a cool progression and a, and a part that was really um, a game changer was when we started having kids uh, because she became a grandmother and that was never something she anticipated ever being able to do. And so for her, the story of God just redeeming her life, and she's not a believer, uh, is really neat for her to say things like, I never expected to find you, let alone get to be a grandma.